It's here. It's band settings 2.0 and it is out of beta. This has been something we've been working on since March. And uh, so I'm really excited to have it out the door. I will admit it's not done uh, in my opinion. Like there's more I want to do and there's more I will be doing, but I wanted to at least say this version is done, get it out to you. And then next year I'm going to be adding even more to it, but let's jump in. So band settings, as usual, you can find it right next to the key switcher right here on any song page. And if you click that, you'll see this new beautiful user interface, in my opinion, that uh, my designer Tyler uh, designed. So all thanks to him for the, the nice looks here. Let's jump into the guitar, which is where most of the changes will be seen. So there are a lot of options here on this guitar settings page, but there's a structure here. So let me break things down for you. The most important thing is right up at the top here. This is a visualization of the current strumming pattern. And by clicking that, we can see a list of built-in rhythm patterns to choose from. And they're grouped by the overall pattern or style. So these styles right here, they all use the boom chuck with upstrokes pattern, just customized in different ways. Below that, we've got a syncopated strumming pattern here, dampened strums for jazz and swing, which have some new customization options as well. And then the Celtic and halftime strums are the same as before. Haven't had a chance to update those yet, but I will be doing that as well as adding completely new styles of strumming. But let's pick one of these um, bluegrass uh, strumming patterns and we can hit listen up here, hear how it sounds, and then click through, see what we want. Well, I'll start with this one here. And if I go back, Below here, we're going to see settings that relate to this strumming pattern, but let you modify it in certain ways. So we can change this from mostly picks to big strums. And um, I'm going to do it something in the middle here. If we go here, this is a very fun uh, thing. It's it's a, a way of changing the strumming pattern just by moving this little dial around, we can hit listen. Say I want a really full, sort of like a Jimmy Martin sound. I put this up here to busy. If I want a spacious sound, a lot of space. I can put it over here and get like a, sort of that different sound, real boom heavy sound. So there's just a lot of things you can play with here just by moving this around. The setting opens up a lot more possibilities for emulating how a real guitarist might play a particular song, which can be useful when practicing a certain song and it's also just more fun sometimes. And then I'm not going to go through all the settings available because each strumming pattern also has its own set of options for you. I do want to point out this new feature, bass runs. So if I turn this up. plays automatic bass runs. I can do eighth notes for quicker runs. So this was super fun to make and uh, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, one thing I will point out that before you used to be able to change the volume up here, that has moved down to the bottom here, volume and pan. And these controls only affect the current song. So you can jump right in here if you want to have this particular song have certain volume or pan. I'm going to reset that. Let's just say you want to change the volume overall for, for all songs. You just you want a quieter guitar because you practice guitar and you want to hear more mandolin and bass instead. What you would do, there's a link to it here, Open Global Volume Pan Mixer. That will open the global settings. But I will tell you that the easier way to get to here is to go to the menu on the song page and then audio mix and you'll have all of these volume controls for each instrument and the pan controls and this applies to all songs globally as we say all right so i want to point that out let's go back to band settings and let's say you've dialed in your your guitar just how you like and maybe you've dialed in uh, the bass, there's not a lot yet you can do with the bass, although you can make it root only, which is kind of fun sometimes. 
and uh, mandolin, there's nothing you can do yet, but that's I'm going to be focusing on that soon. Let's say you like these settings and you want to save them for use in other songs. The easiest way is to go to, to this three dots menu here and say new preset from current settings. So this is example preset, save. All right, now this will show up in the presets menu here. So anytime I want to make a song sound like this, I just go to presets and hit example preset here. And we've got a bunch of built-in presets or a handful, I should say. These are the same ones from before. I have not had a chance to update these and expand the number of built-in presets, but that is something I will be doing in the future as well. So that's a quick overview of Band Settings 2.0. As I said, there's a lot in here. So explore, play around, have fun. Um, there's going to be more to come as well. Some quick thank yous, one to my designer, Tyler Stiegel, as I mentioned before, not only for making everything look nice and pretty, but uh, we we really went back and forth a lot on, on how to make these features. And uh, that was really helpful to everyone who did user testing with me. That was super helpful. Thank you again for your time and everyone who's been using the beta version and kicking the tires and uh, seeing, uh, seeing what needed fixing. Um, Thank you as always for that help. Speaking of things that need fixing, I just want to take a second to acknowledge that we've been having some problems with uh, Apple products lately. iOS 17 came out and broke Strum Machine for a bunch of people. Safari, the Safari browser on Macs has been acting up recently. These are new bugs that Apple has introduced uh, in these software updates that have messed up uh, my code, which is Kind of a bummer, bit of an understatement. So I've been working also to try to remedy these, these bugs. This new release should be working better on iOS 17 devices. And if you're having problems on a Mac, there is a new downloadable version of Strum Machine for Mac and Windows and Linux. And you can download that and um, that will not use your browser you'll be using just a standalone app and hopefully that will sidestep any issues you might be having with the browser, in this case, Safari. And if you're still being affected by these issues, please write in and let us know because I'm, I, it's hard to tell how serious this issue is, how many people it's affecting. So hearing, hearing from you really, really um, helps me understand what's going on. So with that, I hope you enjoy the uh, band settings 2.0 release. Um, this will probably be the last big update for 2023. I mean, it will definitely be the last update for 2023. I'm going to be mostly working on stuff behind the scenes for the next few weeks. And, uh, and then in 2024, I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of new exciting things planned, but I will tell you about them in another video at another time. So happy holidays to everyone. I hope you have a, uh, very relaxing, enjoyable, safe, uh, holiday season. Uh, with your friends and loved ones. And I will uh, talk to you soon. Bye.